What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today is going to be the first day of Foot Champs. This year, just to give you guys a little bit of an understanding of what I'm looking for out of Champs, um, I'm not going to be giving up on Champs like I did in previous, well in last year specifically after four weeks. We're going to be trying to play 30 games every weekend, come what may. Um, I want to kind of take the pressure off of succeeding in Champs. Of course, I want to hit Elite. Uh, but I don't want to just be that, like, my personal mentality is if I don't hit Elite, I've failed. And I hate that. So what I want to do um, this year is just play all 30 games, no matter what, and just try and actually improve on our gameplay every week. So before we get into the Foot Champs for today, uh, we've sold three items. Hopefully it's good coins back. Oh, it is. Oh, that's nice. Nice. So um, this I'm recording this on the Thursday. So we're going to have God knows what else in the video today. We're going to start with three two-player packs. I've just used all the commons that I've picked up over the last couple of days to put these together, doing the drafts and things like that. Uh, we're nearly back up to 100,000 coins, which is quite nice. There's not really much that we could pack that would change our team in a small sense. But of course, packing something big like a, a Ronaldo or a Neymar or something like that would be very, very nice. Now, there's two duplicates. I've I got rid of so many rare golds in marquee matchups and doing some other SBCs over the last couple of days. I didn't think I'd get duplicates like that constantly. Pack number two is not going to be good either. Rodrigo would be super nice here, although he's in our team right now, and I'm not really liking him. We get Ishmaili again. Now, is this one tradable? It is, and it has a shadow on it. I might actually be able to get fairly decent coins on him with a shadow too. I'll start him at like three and a half K and put him at eight K and see if somebody wants to buy him there. Now we've got an untradeable Ishmaili, so I suppose that's okay to some degree. Um, and I'll, I'll definitely have some more two player packs for today. Um, hopefully, no boards again. Yeah, I'll definitely have some two player packs for today more. But I think today's going to be just mostly focused on. Jeez. Mostly focused on. Um, weekend league and, and getting some games in maybe a full game and and uh, a few other bits and bobs hopefully we get some cool content at six today as well there's nothing for me to play for really right now so i'm gonna go and grind with my squads uh in rivals which you won't see much of that gameplay because obviously we want to show you foot champs this is the team we're playing with i'm in four triple two at the moment with suarez and rodrigo up top um and then the cdms of wijnaldum and lorente and then carrasco and adama on the wings not a big fan of adama I'm, I'm generally not a big fan of this setup i think i much prefer the lukaku um, Hakimi and Vidal with Allen in their setup. So I thought I thought Lorente was going to be basically like the second coming of Christ, based on what other people have said, and he really hasn't lived up to the to the mold. So um, we're going to go and grind. I might try a three back formation. I might try a five back formation. Going to try a few of the four three three variants and stuff, and just try and find what works for me to get the best out of this team. Um, but yeah, I'll be back with the uh, weekend league as long as i can work on just keeping my head over the weekend i think i can get elite I just need to retain composure that's a mad team yeah that's a sick team that is well you do feel Derek, with the pressure they're putting on this team a goal will come they can't get much closer than that. nice that's gorgeous that is that's nice oh that's yeah really nice. that's really really nice you sent you sent me as well, as a honestly. I didn't think you were doing that. I'm not joking. <laughs> They're playing a narrow, I think. 4 and 2 and 2 narrow. Yeah, straight away. Nice. Oh, that's gorgeous, that is. Love that. Love that! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! So your chip. I had to raise you one. <laughs> Be sabotaging me again, guys. <laughs> All right, unfortunately enough. Oh no, he's no way. He was no sabotaging way. me again, guys. He's sabotaging me again. Nice. There you go. Nice. Here we go. Let's go. Oh. Able to stop fouling them now. They've gone all out attack. Can you can you match yeah, them, please? Can you go constant pressure too? Otherwise, you just get obliterated now. Yeah. That's foul ref. Thank you very much. Hey, GGs. I think GG. I'm in Division One, boys. Oof.
34 for me. And I am over the 1900 threshold. Let's go. All it took was a 20 million coin team. Yep. And now do I just stay there for next week to get the guaranteed rewards? <laughs> I would. Personally. Oh, wait, it didn't say anything. Oh, no, I got the coins. Yeah, let's go. As we're going for our Division 1 game, guys, there's a comment from Edward on the Road to Glory. It's got a lot of thumbs up. And it says, Been here since FIFA 17 Road to Glory, and I have to say I'm really missing the interaction with the comments. One thing that separated your Road to Glory from everybody else's was your thoughts and insights into the game, which I personally loved. Now it just seems to be an intro, gameplay, stream, clips, and outro. I know you said you always end up covering the same topics from the comments, and I'm not asking for the old style videos every day, but maybe a few times a week would be a nice change just from the gameplay and stream highlights. It's difficult because I understand what you're saying. I do get it. But yeah, I, I think for me, the biggest problem is the comments are all, literally always, not always, but it's it's a lot of like like it is in streams almost. Every day is, does bronze pack method work? How many do I open? What what point should I start? What point should I stop? Should I do silver pack? Should I invest in this player? Should I invest in that player? Is this player good? Is that player good? And it it just, it it's not, it, it turns out to be not necessarily an instance of somebody in the comment section wanting to look for some conversation, but actually someone in the comment section wanting immediate answer for something that they want information from that they haven't been bothered to go and find in either a video that's relative for it or somewhere else. Um, so we, we what, like what I can do instead is still take those comments like this from the stream and put them within the gameplay. So whilst I'm playing, almost ruin a random esque talk about the, um, the comment to hand whilst playing a game. Um, could uh, could be a possibility, you know what I mean? Wow, why is this guy starting with five at the back? Even though he's got Zachariah in there. I mean, that is a nice team. Um, so yeah, I, I think for me personally, the whole Q&A style Road to Glory videos, they just didn't have the same impact anymore because content creation in general has advanced. You know, the, the whole idea of what we used to do like if we actually go back to Ruin Randoma and what we used to do with that, that that eventually just kind of stopped being something that was useful. You know, it kind of stopped being interesting. It stopped being engaging, and and again, it was it, it became more about people just wanting to see me win. And if I didn't win, then apparently the video was bad, and so I started doing other things. Oh, he's got a good chance there. That's Anthony Martial. That's a lovely goal. Um, you know, so the the same with the Road to Glory. It's a case of Okay, I'll show you my team after this as well because I noticed I didn't show the team. But it's, it's a case of um, because it was always the same comments, I ended up getting into a position where I would I would end up spending a lot of each video going over the same comments and the same content that I had, and then a lot of each video almost explaining as to why. I was or wasn't doing something else. And, and I felt like for me personally, it wasn't enjoyable. It wasn't enjoyable to have to constantly explain myself for every decision that I made instead of just being allowed to play the game and make content from it, you know? And so, okay, this was very good. Um, that's a good save from Michael. And so, uh, uh, like, we can certainly add comments back into the road to glory like this. But going back to the whole playing 10 or 15 games, having them edited and then talking over them that's not something that i'm interested in doing unfortunately because it's it's just not something that i found engaging in the slightest anymore i just it, it lost its purpose dominic calvert lewin with the goal let's go we'll take those 90 points i just want to make sure i focus on getting three to five goals minimum every game no matter win or lose and just make sure we continually improve. Don't auto lunge, please. Don't auto lunge, please. He's given a pen away. Three auto lunges in a row. Three. Why? Just why? Let's go, man. Three auto lunges from our players in a row. Michael, please. Why is the... <sighs> that is so frustrating. 
three auto lunges that gave away a penalty that I saved that led to the corner that he scored from. That is so sad, man. Uh, that was a tough... I mean, we both created a lot of opportunities there. Look at where my shots are from, man. Look at where his shots are from, to be fair. His are all in the six-yard box. Hey, five at the back might be the way, boys. Might be the way. But, uh, yeah, that, that, was, uh, that was tough, man. That was tough. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, welcome back to the Road to Glory. Just wanted to show you guys my team and tactics. I know a lot of people are asking. Obviously, I'm still trying to find my way. Usually in FIFA, we go to a five-back or a three-back late in the game cycle. I might try one earlier on in the game cycle on this one. Like, we could easily play five-back here with Cancelo, Gomez, Chilwell as our um, centre-backs. And then, or even three-back. And then uh, Semedu he's obviously got the four star skill moves anyway um he you know and, and he's a uh, oh he's medium high actually he'd be better as a center back wouldn't he Cancelo may be better as a wide man yeah his passing's all right um and then play yeah Cancelo and Adama on the wings um and go from there basically but uh this is the team that we've got Dominic Calvert-Lewin and Vidra up front in a four triple two Alan and Wijnaldum as CDMs and then Jota and Adama as our cams and uh, we switch it around so that Chilwell goes in at centre back, and uh, yeah, we play long ball, press on heavy touch. I don't like long ball. It's got to be fast build up. It has to be fast build up. It also has to be. I think I've got both Allen and Wijnaldum. That's how the team sets up anyway in game with Chilwell and Gomez in, in at centre back. I think I've got Allen and Wijnaldum stay back. I don't want Allen to stay back. I want him balanced. I don't, I want one, of, do I want him to stay forwards? Let me set one of them to stay forwards. Because I need, I need like some transitions through the midfield. But I also need to make sure I've got enough people up front. So maybe long ball's not the one. Let's get into another game and see how it plays with this little, uh, little tactical tweak there. Oh my God. Mbappe, St. Maximin. This is what it's going to be like in D1, isn't it? We're going to struggle. Um, what a team that is. Oh, come on now. The the See, I pulled my centre-back out there again. The and it's immediately created a, a situation where I'm in a bad defensive setup. And he scored from it. And that all came from me taking Joe Gomez out of position. He's given a penalty for that. <laughs> what? Was that a pen? I don't think that was a pen. I won the ball. I thought I won the ball. Uh, that is an utterly shocking penalty. Especially given a few of the games that we've had in the last couple of days. We have been absolutely manhandled in the box and got no pen. There's DCL though. Oh, that's lovely. That's a beautiful goal. That's using the RB. We're getting there. We're, we're, we're improving. I don't know why Champs has been delayed, but... I've read that perfectly again. That seems to be a very, very overpowered way to score. There we go. One back. Nice. We've, we've had a really good second half here. I'm happy with that. I know we took another loss there. And I know we're not going to get all the points that we want there. But that guy had a ridiculous team. It's a, he had a ridiculous team. And once we changed our team around a little bit in the second half, we were considerably better. Look at that. Schmeichel with zero saves. He literally had those three shots that he had. Oh, he had four shots, three on target. Look, very even game. Which just let me, lets me know that once I get a team to compete like that, I'll end up edging those games. So that wasn't too bad at all. Where do we have for skill rating? I, I think it'd probably be around, around my skill rating there, around like the 1930, 1950 mark. I'd be happy. The higher he is, the happier I am. Oh my God, 2033 with that team? All right, you've got to take some positives out of that. He had almost 100 extra skill rating than me and a considerably better team and he struggled. That's all right. Let's see what we're up against here. 4 3 3. Son, Mane again. Endon Bele and Sissoko. Dembele. 
Mendy, Felipe Anderson, Walker, Gomez, Allison. That back line just seems to be the one, doesn't it? I might have to buy Allison. Oh, he was offside. I need to get that cross in like quicker. I've, I've like now that you've got those guys running in like Adama and whatnot. I've literally got that cross on every time straight away. Suarez, that's what we need him for. That's what we like. Oh, that is that is actually classic Luis Suarez. That is, that was magnificent. one that's the one that's the one oh that's the one yeah yeah i'm feeling this i am feeling this okay, now's where i want carrasco running in just like that oh just like that that's where i want carrasco running in we love to see that all right this is this this is a uh, this is this is this is looking a lot better. That's for sure. It feels just a lot more solid. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Oh, like that, just like that, and that's another goal for Suarez. That was beautiful play. That was me using LB RB and the the direct run sticks to get those players into those positions. I, I use that to send Promes into that little angle. And then obviously the skill moves, which is why I think skill moves are quite important this year. The skill move got me in behind the defender because if I didn't have the five-star skills there, I didn't have the opportunity for the Elastico to come off and, and give me that extra angle. Go on, Luis. Go on, Luis. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, it's beautiful. It is B A A U T full. Oh, he's actually scored one. I don't understand what he we got out of that, but okay. Scored off of it. Fair enough. Nice goal. Hey, GG's. I will take a nice 5-2 uh, five win. 950 very valuable points right there. I like that. Luis Suarez with a hat-trick. Carrasco with two. Carrasco, Traore, Promes, Wijnaldum and Semedu with the assists. And yeah, I like that a lot. That guy was resorted to three chances the whole game. Um, I think the 4-2-3-1 might be the way. I definitely felt like I just felt in more control of the game, even though I didn't have as much possession. Um, yeah, I felt in more control of the game. He had 1934 skill rating, so evenly matched, so to speak. It's on YouTube, Christopher, my man. And then 950 big points there. So we still got nine games to go. That is quite nice. All right, guys, welcome back to the uh, Road to Glory. Um, we just did a draft. I'm not going to know because that ruined the draft. We'll wait on that one. They have released some new content. The ones to watch, James Rodriguez SBC is out. And there's a new Haaland versus Jean Felix uh, set up as well in the teams section here now that it's called. Uh, you select a team, you compete for objectives, and you fight for rewards. Now, the rewards are, are generally quite poor. Um, I'm going to go for uh, Jean Felix. Um, and we're going to have a loan Jean Felix that we then have to use to progress to other rewards. However... This is going to be done as a separate video for either tomorrow or Sunday for the 3 p.m. video. So we're not going to be doing that uh, right here, right now. Um, and then obviously I'm going to do week two, bronze, silver and gold also for a separate video. Um, and outside of that, there's no new milestones. Um, there is nothing new in season progress for me really other than bronze, silver and gold. And there's a couple of SBCs that have been put in. Um, I don't really have all that much care for player of the month Kramaric although he's there for 30 days so if 
we need him. We've got plenty of time on him. Witzel's only there for six more days. I don't think I'm going to complete him. And of course, Ansu Fati is also still there for 22 more days. So if we do want to get him, we can too. We are going to do Odegaard returns. Um, what, what, why I'm showing you this as well, though, guys, is because your Norwegian players right now will be going uh, very, very expensive. Specifically, golds if you've got them um, and silvers as well. Probably, probably some bronzes too. Um, so uh, basically, we're in a position where the bronze pack method should hopefully be like paying out again right now. You know, uh, I don't know if these are all untradeable or tradable. So he's untradable. Perfect. We can put him in. But I suppose this guy must be selling for something, right? Oh, I don't want to quick save him. Um, 250 on bid, maybe 10K there. So 1.3K. So we'll be listing these guys up for, you know, uh, one to two, 3K coins, which is where we earned 158 XP. What the hell? Um, which is where we're going to get ourselves some uh, some more coins into the bank for. Um, hopefully, we can make some uh, some good profit off of it. Obviously, the higher rated they are, the better they'll do. So go and check your clubs and sell your Norwegian bronzes. Um, I'm going to go and build this SBC, though, guys, and clear everything out. And then I'm also going to do Hammers as well. So I'm just going to go and build him um, off stream, off camera. Um, and then we'll be back to complete him. And then I'll show you my team for the weekend league that now starts tomorrow because it got delayed today. So I will be right back. All right, guys. So welcome back. This is the team we're submitting for um, the one to watch Hammers. Everybody is untradeable, which is great. Koke, Pizzi, and Thiago Silva are the big guns in there. We've got that untradeable inform that we packed out of a two-player pack, which is fantastic. Covers that for us. Uh, obviously, Jota, we don't care about. We've got his ones to watch. Thiago Silva, we don't care about. We've got his ones to watch. And now we have got Hammers Rodriguez, who is going to go into... Our actual weekend league team for this weekend league which is a bit crazy because he's slow and has bad stam but we could just sub him out should we need to um so there you go james rodriguez is there guys i loved his gold card for the first like three or four days that we played with it in squad battles i think this card is going to be good for us the whole point of this series this year is to not get too uh pent up on making the best meta squad or anything like that it's about having fun with a fun team and some fun players so that's what we're going to try and do. I've uh, got two sales. Hopefully the uh, Norwegian guys. Oh, my! I had an Atletico. Oh, yeah. Guys, go and check your Atletico Madrid stuff and your Dortmund stuff. Consumables. No, club items. Right, badges. Do I have an Atletico Madrid badge? Please tell me I do. Oh, wait. Here we go. League. Let me go Bundesliga. Nothing. Can I just do anything then? Kit. Oh, why can't you do kit from Bundesliga? That's interesting, isn't it? Do I have... If you guys have Atletico or Dortmund kits, badges, or TIFOs, they're all selling right now for 5k. Let me go gold anyway. Uh, we have nothing there. I don't generally think I have much for kits. I don't. Um, let's check this. No, stadium doesn't matter. TIFO. Here we go. Have we got... Come on, tell me I have. I thought I had some Atletico Madrid stuff. This is all basic stuff, all like free stuff. Damn it, I don't have that. Was it only the kit that I had? Animated TIFO. Don't have any of those. They must be coming soon. Background TIFO. Okay, that doesn't... Uh, don't have anything there either. Stadium theme. Come on, tell me I had something here. I was certain I had some Atletico Madrid stuff. Pitch mo pattern, pitch line paint, goal net colours, pitch trophy. Flame cap. Oh my god, what is all of this? Club. Oh, club anthem. So I've got the Atletico Madrid club anthem. It's untradeable. Unlucky. Goal song. Don't have anything there. Club. Oh, I've got. I know it probably won't sell, but I've got Atletico club name. Oh, it's untradeable. Never mind. Just kidding. Crowd chant. Don't care. Don't care. Ball. Don't care. So badge. Let me go back. So we had nothing in the Bundesliga. And then for La Liga. Nothing there either. And then kit. I don't have any. So I don't have anything. I just had that one kit. So that was that was pretty pretty bust. But to end off today's video, guys, uh, we've got this uh, rare Electron Players pack. Is it going to be good? Yes or no? Come on, EA. Hook us up. Don't hook us down. No walkout. No ball. Oh, could still be an 85. Could still be an 85. We've got ourselves one of these Libertadores cult players. Come on. Give me something nice in here, EA. Some nice Furlan Mendy, please. That sucks, doesn't it? That's terrible. That honestly couldn't really be worse. 
as far as a rare election player pack goes. Okay, at least Paredes is uh, tradable. Uh, and Saldi, not tradable. And Cordoba, I doubt he'll be tradable. Oh, he is. Let's go. That's all right. We only throw one player away. So there you go, guys. That's going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.